say it, dude. It's not. All right. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alex here with the Hollow Herald and today we're going to be doing another app preview for you guys. And uh, we're going to be doing the Hollow Maps. You may have noticed that we uh, showed you a little bit in our last top five video. Today we're going to show you why I really, really liked it. I'm super excited, so let's go check it out. All right, so let's look for Hollow Maps. Open it up. We'll put it right there. So our goal, I've only actually ever used it while on the, you know, using it by putting it on the ground. So today I'd like to try to putting it on the table, see if that works. Oh, it, it wants to, it really wants to. It's freaking out. Oh, yes, it worked. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. All right, so we gotta wait for it to load. Okay, so here we are. This is currently a view of Seattle, which is, you know, pretty cool. You can scroll, scroll through, kind of check out all the places, which I think is, is really, really entertaining. Really isn't much to see over there. Let's bring it back. That's one thing that's it's a little bit buggy trying to move the map, but uh, that's not too bad. What I think is really fun is just being able to see all the different cities. Like there's like the highway, like it's it's surprisingly detailed. I mean, you can get him kind of close and see. I hope you guys can see that. I mean, sure they don't have too many too many details in there once you get close. But it is actually really cool if you really stand back and take a look at it. So let's zoom in a little bit. See, like like I said, you can get in pretty close. Let's go a little bit closer. Okay, so that's about as close as you can get. However, that is still pretty dang cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a very interesting application in that you can... You know what? I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to stop talking to show you guys. So see, that says that's Seattle. We're going to go to search. Use the voice. And like right here, there's a little window that gives you instructions. So say, show me and the name of where to view. So let's, let's go to... Let's check out the Sears Tower. Show me the Sears Tower. There we go. See that? Woohoo! And boom, there it is. See that? I went from Seattle all the way to Chicago. I think that's pretty cool. Now let's let's zoom in on that. You can see the little bridges. And uh, let's zoom in again. And what I like about this is this little heads up thing follows you wherever you go. So I can. I can circumnavigate the entire little map here, and that is always going to follow me. So let's check out, let's go a little closer. See that? I can get pretty dang close. And get a really detailed look at what the Sears Tower looks like. Which I think is pretty cool. Let's try a different place now. Show me Miami, Florida. Hey! Miami, Florida. There we go. Let's load this thing. It better be worth it. Oh, come on, that's it? Okay, oh, that building's pretty cool. Let's check it out. Noop. Noop. And as you notice, oh, bugging down a little bit. As, you, as you'll notice, it's actually really entertaining to see buildings just kind of pop up as you move the map along. See? Ooh, that's cool. Oh, you know what would be cool? Let's check out the Statue of Liberty. Let's see if it'll pick that up. Show me Statue of Liberty. Oh, oh, this is going to be cool. I've never done this one before. Oh, there it is. A little 3D image of the Statue of Liberty. Let's, let's zoom in. Maybe. Oh, that's really cool. 
Alright, let's do that thing again. I've noticed if you move around, there it is. Now it'll let us. One more time. Look at that. There it is, the Statue of Liberty. I've actually never seen this in real life. And frankly, never even have gotten a view like this before. I mean, certainly it it's nothing like the real thing. This is actually pretty cool. I can see the layout of the island. This is really cool. Now, you know, this is, like I said, this is probably one of my favorite apps. This can take you pretty much anywhere in the world. Well, better said, anywhere in the United States, if you can get this thing to work. Which I think is pretty cool, but for example, show me the Eiffel Tower. There it is. It's a little bit more difficult when you go international. <laughs> you can kind of see the shadow of it. But there it is. Yep. So anywhere outside the United States, you only get kind of a Google Maps kind of view of it. But this is still pretty cool. All right, guys. There you have it. That's Hollow Maps for the HoloLens. You know, like I told you guys, I, I like this app a lot. I, I think it's very enjoyable. But it also has a a technical use as well. You know, it gives a very unique perspective. It gives you kind of a bird's eye view of pretty much anywhere all over the United States. And you know, I think this would be great, you know, like if, if you need to know like the layout of a city or what a building is shaped like. I'm not, I mean, you know, if there's a need, like, I mean, you could definitely use this. It's very practical. And I think, you know, this is, this is a genius app. I think it's great. So, I mean, you, you guys know how it works. Like, subscribe, let us know what you thought about the Hollow Maps. Maybe give us, you know, let us know how you would use this app personally. You know, give us ideas. We'd love to hear your feedback. You know, we love this stuff. So thanks guys for your time once again. Take care.